Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be picking out paint. So I wanted to show you guys how I picked out my paint, what colors I use, what finish I get, what type of paint do I buy, where do I buy it from, kind of just give you a little bit more information. So the first thing that I'm gonna be doing in this new home is painting. Right now, currently the walls are a Swiss chocolate, I believe, so it has a bit of a cream. I hate cream. I want everything to always be white. So white is like my go-to for everything. Black, I love black as well. And I think that that would just be perfect for this home. And just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of insight into how I pick my colors, what colors I'm gonna choose. Um, but you guys already know that I'm a black and white girl, so. So I get all of my paint from Lowe's. This is the Snowbound White and this is the Tricorn Black. I always purchase the showcase grade of paint. I love that Lowe's has this sheen chart. It gives you a example of all of the sheens and what they look like and what rooms they would be used in. So I use the semi-gloss for trim and kitchen and bathroom and then I also use the flat for bedroom, ceilings, living room, and dining room. All right, so I just wanted to go over everything that I purchased from Lowe's and Home Depot. So I got the five gallons. This is gonna be the Snowbound White. This is what I'm gonna use in all my bedrooms. This is the flat. So three five gallons, and then I bought five gallons of semi-gloss in the Snowbound White. This is the showcase. And I got two gallons of primer and I had them add black to it because I'm gonna use this underneath all of the black um, work that I'm gonna do. And then I got Tricorn Black Semi-Gloss. I got two gallons of this and I got one gallon of the Tricorn Flat. So that's the paint that I purchased. I wanted to go over the supplies that I got as well from Home Depot. I got these foam rollers. These are six inch, five pack foam rollers. I love doing my doors with this. It's good with a semi-gloss finish. I got a pack of just 3 8 nap rollers, and this is good for when you're spraying. You can uh, roll over like any drippage or anything like that so it doesn't run. Um, I got a drop cloth. Y'all always need drop cloths. I got some liners. I got some tape. Always need blue tape, so I got a six pack. And this is plastic, it's 0.3 mil. So this is what I'm gonna drape over all of my countertops. And then I got four mil plastic. This is what I'm gonna to use to cover my flooring. So I'm gonna start painting tomorrow and I'll give you guys an update of what it looks like. So keep on watching. So I just wanna show you guys the difference in color. So this is a Swiss coffee that's on the wall right now. This is the snowbound white that I love. So I'm gonna show you how ridiculous I am. Do you see the difference? Yes, we see the difference. We see it. Awesome. All right, so I do wanna show you guys up here. We have finished wrapping everything all the floors, stairs included. Art's down there making noise. So you can see everything has been covered. Plastic has been draped. We're not painting this wall, that's why these windows are not covered. Oh, but we are doing the ceiling, so we are gonna have to put something over there.
You can see everything is covered. We draped the bathtub and the shower. Toilets are covered, windows are covered. I even wrapped the bars in the closet. Hey. Mirrors, cabinets, all the vanities and everything are covered. All the rooms are covered. We sprayed the whole house. It would have been impossible trying to roll every single wall in this house. So you can see I am struggling with spraying. Art usually does the spraying, but I tried to help. The upstairs is complete. The downstairs, we just finished spraying the first coat. So it doesn't look like a big difference from what it started. I am a little ridiculous sometimes, but I like what I like. And I don't like walls that have a bit of a cream. So yes, I painted everything snowball white, which is like a true white. And I do this with all my properties. I wanted to paint all of my doors black, but before I do that, I always paint with a tinted primer underneath the black. This is just Kilt's regular primer with a little bit of black added to it. So currently right now, all of my doors are primed and I've started to paint them black. So this is the first coat of tricorn black and this is a semi gloss finish. And this is what it looks like so far. So I'm going to do two coats. After painting everything in the house, two coats, Art and I are starting to take down all the plastic from the windows, around the cabinets, around the countertops. It's a lot of prep and then a lot of cleanup taking off all the plastic on the floors and throwing everything away. That way we can start taping for the baseboards. So I just wanna give you guys an update on what we're doing right now. We just finished painting all of the walls and we pulled up all the plastic. Now what we're doing is taping the baseboards so we can do the base or paint the baseboards. So that's what you see right here. I went through and taped the perimeter of the house so Art could paint all of the baseboards our snowbound white color. You can see the whole perimeter of the house is done. Um, Art right now is taping plastic to my island and I'm gonna make this bold move I'm painting my island black. So I'll give you guys a view of that right now. This is my island. So as you can see, everything in here is white. So I thought that the black would kind of just break it up. And eventually I'm gonna have black over here for my fireplace. So just like the doors, I am painting the island with a tinted primer. And then I will go over it with the black. So after painting with the tinted primer, I go in with the tricorn black and this is a semi-gloss because it is in the kitchen. And it's also a lot easier to clean when it's in a semi-gloss. 
All right, so I wanted to give you guys a look at my doors that we're about to install. So I have my freshly painted closet door, painted with the Sherman Williams tricorn black. And I purchased these doorknobs from Home Depot. I'll link the type in the comments because I can't remember the name of them, but it's just a matte black square knob. So I'm gonna put these on the door right now and then I'm gonna go ahead and hang them. I also have black hinges. So these are my matte black hinges that I'm gonna be putting on as well. So I'll show you how we do this. This was drying while we were installing the doors in the house. So we are just pulling the plastic, cleaning up everything. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love the paint. If you have any questions, please let me know. Comment, like, and subscribe.